What's going on guys? Big big time rush number 19 here. And before I do today's video is gonna be a birthday haul, but I wanna apologize for not making it on my birthday. I had a I had a little bit of trouble making the video because my laptop was acting weird, but I also didn't get um I also didn't get a chance to spend my birthday money on my birthday, so I just spent my birthday money yesterday. So now that I have what I spent my birthday money on I can do the birthday haul, and I got a, I got a lot of stuff. I got a bunch of books, movies, and and toys that I bought. So, the first, oh, and the uh, and the first thing actually is gonna be my new beta. You guys remember Allie, my old one? Well, I really don't know how it happened, but my mama and I went to go clean out Allie's bowl one day, and this was like shortly before my birthday, and my for some reason my mama didn't didn't know that betas are tropical and so she put Allie in the little you know the little cup that they get in the that you find them at, at the, that you get them at in the pet store well she put Allie in there and then poured cold uh freezing cold water in and fro accidentally froze Allie to death so shortly before my birthday i got another beta who i'll introduce you guys to now he's part of the birthday haul because he was in a way a birthday gift so where is he Sorry, I'm trying to get the camera towards the bowl. I apologize if you guys can barely see him. Hey there, kid. What are you doing? Right. That's my new beta. His name's Hunter. And I only showed him because some somebody may not have watched the video. So. So the next thing I got, I got two stuffed animals. Actually, I got some stuff you won't see because I left it at my mom's apartment, so you'll have to wait to see that. But I bought these two with my money, with my own money. Well, yeah, I bought these two with my own money. Oh, and I got a new bracelet that I'm wearing, and you just can't see it, my brown one. Um. Anyway, the first one I got, which I got like in June, I think. Um. This is, uh, Orion. I named- I couldn't think of- I was gonna name him something along, like, space-themed. I couldn't decide between Apollo, Luna, or Orion. Because if it was Luna, it'd be a girl. But, I loved- but somebody said that they loved the name Orion, and I was like, that's perfect. So, I got him at my- one of my favorite restaurants ever, Rainforest Cafe. Which is also where I got her. This is my other- I have now three- I now have three stuffed elephants. Peanut, Winter Storm, and Dakota. Named after my character in my uh, BTR Henry Danger crossover, literally called Big Time Danger on Wattpad. Speaking of Henry Danger, now I can watch it, so you'll see a bunch of Henry Danger videos coming up, hopefully. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna introduce my movies next. Some of them I bought, and some of them I was given or were given to me. The first movie I got, Lion King 2019. So I finally have Lion King 2019. And I've watched it, like, well, I saw it in the theater, but I've watched it, like, ten times already. My best friend loves it. My best friend and I love it, so. My, my mama gave me this. I've never even seen it. All all good things. Is that what's called? Yeah, all good things. I've never even seen it, but I'm hoping, hoping to watch it one day. This one is something I bought. I bought the movie Show Dogs, and it's actually based on, um... It's it's actually from the director of Beverly Hills Chihuahua and Scooby Doo, which I don't I don't remember who directed Scooby Doo. I think it's Raja Gosnell or something. I can't say his last name. But what but what I, the the reason I got this is because my favorite comedian voices a pug in this movie, voices the pug in this movie. So. My best friend gave me this, The Art of Racing in the Rain, which I actually have the book to. I just don't know where it is. I think it's in my closet. But. I actually have the book to it, and it's exactly like the book. And I've wanted the movie for a while. Now these two I got with my own money. I needed another copy of Hotel for Dogs because mine was like extremely old. And the reason Hotel for Dogs isn't in here is because it's in my uh, DVD player. Because I love that movie. But this also came with one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. Yours, Mine, and Ours. Which is by far one of my favorite movies. It's hilarious. But I, w I needed a new copy of Hotel for Dogs. So I got this in the at Walmart for like three bucks 
And then this, I never saw this in the theater, but this is Instant Family. I never saw this in the theater, but I saw it on my phone like 14 times. And I was like, okay, when this when this comes out on, when I find this on DVD, I'm definitely getting it. I don't care if it, um, I don't care if it's a little inappropriate. It's a little inappropriate at times, but it's also really funny. And the guy that plays, oh my god, what's his character name? Um, I don't remember his character name, but the guy that's in the fourth and fifth Transformer movies, which I believe is, uh, played by Mark Wahlberg, is in Instant Family. So that's all the movies I got. Actually, that's not all the, well, that's all the movies that were in Scooby-Doo, and you'll see why I say that in a minute. Now for my books, which some, of, again, some of my, some of my stuff is at my mom's apartment, so you won't see it, but there's two other stuffed animals I got. They're both the same. It's a huge harp seal that I named Rustic, and a little, uh, stuffed baby harp seal that I named Rush. So, the next one, I actually have never, I got this, this and the, and this one yesterday, but I have never, ever, ever tried this series, and Erin Hunter is actually my favorite, um, author, because she, she wrote my, my absolute favorite book series, uh, Warriors, but I've never read this, like, this is the new series by her, Brave Lands, I've never read it, so I got the first book from it, and I'm gonna tell you right now, it is the first the first part of it is exactly like Lion King. I'm not going to spoil how, but it's exactly like Lion King. So, the next book I got is actually Lion King. It's the uh, Lion King um, junior novel, and I saw this before the movie came out. Actually, I saw this before I saw... Well, I saw this in the bookstore before I even saw the movie, and I got Dumbo 2019, the book, before I got the movie. So, I wanted to get the book so bad, but I never had enough money for it. Oh, somebody bought, I, I asked, uh, one of the workers at Barnes & Noble yesterday was, uh, noticing that I was, like, looking around, and he asked if I needed help, and I told him I couldn't find this one, so he looked it up, and then a few minutes later brought it up to me, so, spent my money on this and Brave Lands, and then there's another series just like Warriors that I absolutely love, but it's not cats, it's dogs, because you guys know I'm such a dog person, and the, uh, the two books I got from well, actually, I got three, but one of them is at my mom's apartment. But I got three books from my from that other series, Survivors, and it's just like Warriors, but it's with dogs instead of cats. I actually had this book where I, well, I actually used to have this one somewhere, but I don't know what happened to it. But Survivors, A Pack Divided, which I believe is, yeah, book one of The Gathering Darkness. And then, I have been wanting this one for years, but I never had enough money for it. Survivor's The Final Battle. I've never, ever had enough money for it, because it was so expensive, and so I finally got it for my birthday. Um, and again, guys, this is a late video, because I, uh, I never got a chance to do it. And then I also got two, two of my favorite series. I got, um, book two and book three of A Vision of Shadows. Which, the first one, Thunder and Shadow, I haven't, I haven't read both of them, but, well, I haven't read either of them, actually, well, actually, I take that back. This one I haven't read, Shattered Sky, but I have read Thunder and Shadow, because I'm, what chapter am I on? I'm on chapter, I just got to chapter, fi uh, three, five? Three, sorry, I just got to chapter three, and in this one I haven't even started yet, so I'm gonna start it after, it's not even Warrior Week yet, it's like, today's the end of Ranger Week, so... You guys notice I'm dressed up like a Power Ranger. Blue shirt and my and my thing that I use as my inner gym, which I'm still always gonna be depressed that I can't be a Power Ranger. And then this, I this is a, a book that we found in the store, and what is it called? Two Good Dogs. I've never ever read this book in my in my entire life, so I'm really excited to read it because my mama knows I love dogs. So. Okay, now this, I actually had to bring this out. You guys remember how I have a, I told you guys how I have a huge fear of thunder? Well, I don't have to worry about that anymore, because this should help me overcome it. It was, somebody gave me, um, one of my family, one of my family gave this to me, somebody in my family gave this to me for, um, a birth, for my birthday, and it was, it's a home, it was, it's a homemade cross, and what it's supposed to do is, like, if I hear thunder, I just, like stare at it and it's supposed to instantly calm me down so hopefully when I start um, hopefully it helps me overcome my fear because when I start being an actor I have to work in a thunderstorm so hopefully it, over it helps me overcome my fear now there's some toys over here because I actually bought two well three transformer toys so the first 
I, I had a little bit of trouble transforming him, but the first one is actually from the from the movie. The I believe this the I don't think he was in the second film. I know he was in the third one. But Soundwave, who I believe is in Dark Yep, Dark of the Moon. Yeah, he's in Dark of the Moon. I think he was in Revenge of the Fallen, but I could be wrong. But I have been looking everywhere for not just a um movie version Transformer, but I've been looking everywhere for Prime in the movie version, and for Prime's movie version, I can't find him anywhere. Um, and I mean, the only place I could find him is online, but I, I'm probably going to stick with the small Transformer toys, which I have two of them in here, including Prime, including Prime, but I'm probably going to stick with the small ones just because, um... Just because, uh, the, I tried transforming Soundwave yesterday, and I got as far, like, I was able to transform him halfway, but as soon, like, but as soon as I got him, like, he was looking like the car form, which I believe is a, um, I think he's a, uh, Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG, but, like, in the movie at least, but, oh, he came with Laserbeak, too, he came with, so I really got two toys, I got Soundwave and Laserbeak. I never ever wanted to get a Decepticon, but they didn't have any of the, like, the only Autobot they had in the movie form was B, so, or was Bumblebee, so, I'm probably just gonna stick with the small toys, though, because they're way easier to control and transform, but anyway, I got as far as putting his doors in, like, I got as far as, I got halfway into transforming him, uh, Soundwave, and then I started, like, trying to push his doors in to make him turn into a car and I couldn't get the doors to go in so I just gave up and I was like I'm just gonna try it later For, forget it or, oh what the heck I'll just try it again later but I, he looks really creepy though look at him he looks really really evil <laughs> but I, I do keep the box for them just because I mean apparently they're known as collectibles but I do keep the box for them just because I don't want like in case something happens to them or I want to travel with them, I don't want to, like, have to put them somewhere, so... Because I'm scared that they'll, like, get messed up or whatever, so I keep the box that it got them in as, like, a case for them. If I can even shut this down. There we go. Okay, I can't get it to shut all the way. And then these two I got... One of them I got with my own money, the other one, well, actually both of them I bought with my own money, but one of them I got shortly before my birthday, before or after, but, okay, okay, so, I'm gonna put the weapons in here, so the first one I got, I actually, you actually uh, most might have noticed him in a future, or in a uh, previous video, because I remember he was in my, I think my Transformer video that I made, but, which I still have to do the sad scenes reaction, which I'm not looking forward to. But this is the only version of Prime that I have. I don't have the animated, I mean the, uh, well this is animated, but I don't have the movie version of Prime, and I've looked everywhere for him. I guess I can only buy him online now, along with uh, all the other ones, Ratchet, Ironhide, Jazz, all of them. If you want the movie version. But, because the only, the only one they had at the store was Bumblebee. So, th I don't know, what, what version is he? Cyberverse. He is the, uh, Cyberverse, Ad Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures, uh, Prime. I don't know who voices him, but I really hope they bring back Colin as the voice of Prime, which, Peter Colin as the voice of Prime, because every time I hear, like, I, like, Transformers Prime is my favorite, my favorite show from Transformers. I'm actually gonna do a reaction on pretty much every episode, including my favorite, but, or a review of that show, but whenever, uh, I watch something that isn't that doesn't have Colin as as Prime's voice. I'm like, okay, you need to have Colin be Prime's voice because there is nobody that does a better vo that has a better voice for. There's nobody that does great. There's nobody that does better at voicing Optimus than uh, Colin does. Like I was watching my favorite part from my favorite episode, which is actually uh, what is it called? Um. I don't remember the name of the episode, but Ratchet in Transformers Prime gets hurt or something. Like, he injects himself with something he calls synthetic energon. And he just goes pretty much crazy, sort of. Like, he's mind-controlled. And when he gets hurt at the end of the episode and tries- And, like, he's trying to sit up, I love what Prime does. He- I guess he's, like, watching him or something, because you instantly see Prime push him back down. So, 
he was very Prime was very sweet in that episode, and every time I hear Colin voices Prime in that episode, so or Colin voices Prime in that show, so every time I hear Peter Colin voicing Prime, I'm like, he needs to stay as um, he needs to keep voicing Prime because there is nobody that has a better that has a better voice of um, there's nobody there's nobody that can do the voice of Prime better than Peter Colin. So, like, he's the only one I know that's ever voiced Prime. I don't know who voices him in the, um, in the new show, which I don't know what it's called, but I guess they have a new Transformers show. Or, uh, I don't, I also don't know who voices him in this. And then, I believe this guy is also from Cyberverse? I'm not really sure. I don't really like what he transforms into. But, watch, I'm gonna, um, I'm, I can't really bring the, uh, tablet down, but he transformed in, like, some sort of, like, um, Oh, what are they called? Uh, like, moving turret or something? <laughs> anyway, the, uh, this is, he and, Shockwave and Soundwave, this, this is the, this is Shockwave. Shockwave and Soundwave are the only two Decepticons that I have, and Prime's the only Autobot I have, so every time I play my BTR Transformer crossover, which I, which I literally call Big Time Transformers, where my character, Allie, is the main character, and I also put my, uh, well, he's not in here, but I also put my dog in there. Um... Every time I have every t every time I play that, I always have to use my other toy cars as transformers. So, but now I actually can use Prime. So I don't have to use that huge. I don't even have it with me. It's at my. I don't have it with me. It's at my mom's apartment. But you guys know that huge toy truck I sometimes use. I sometimes use. I don't have to use that anymore because I actually have Prime. The only problem I have with uh, transformer toys, big and small, is that they they break easily like i'm trying to like if you're trying to like transform them and you have no idea how to do it they break very easily so i actually thought it was the uh small ones that are more fragile no it's the big ones and i told <laughs> i told my nana yesterday i was like i'm gonna i'm just gonna stick with these small ones because as much as i want the movie version of the transformers or the tv show or a tv show version the small ones are way easier to control because they only have like how many steps yeah, like Prime has 13 steps and Shock or Soundwave, so, sorry, Soundwave has 19. So, and he's very hard to transform without trying to, without something popping off. So, I'm probably going to do an, un, well, not an unboxing, but like a review for those two, for those three. So, except for Shockwave, because I really don't know um, much about him. Because, again, I don't really pay, I, I usually don't pay attention to the Decepticons, I only pay attention to the Autobots. So, especially Prime, because he's my favorite. Okay, so the next uh, stuff I got, this is all my uh, new Scooby-Doo movies, and one of them, you guys would know, because the, everybody does a um, video for it, or everybody's done a uh, video for it, one of them, the newest one, which I, actually after this I'm doing a uh, updated Scooby-Doo DVD collection, but one of them, you guys know, or tomorrow actually, I'm, uh, the next time I have like free time, I'm going to do a, um, like whenever I get a chance, I'm going to do an updated Scooby-Doo DVD collection. But the first, I'm gonna do the, uh, I'm gonna do this one first because you guys know this one. A lot of people have uh, done a review of this one or whatever, including my, one of my favorite uh, YouTubers who does a bunch of Scooby Doo videos, Smash. But this one, I've, I didn't see it in the theaters. I believe it was going to theaters, but because of, some, but because of the stupid virus that I've heard enough about, nobody ever saw it in the theater. But I, I don't know when it came out, but I finally got Scoob for a birthday gift. And I actually saw part of it on my phone. I didn't see um, all of it. I just saw, like, part of it. And when the Blue Falcon came on screen, I was like, the voice sounds familiar. And so I looked up, try and I, I tried to find out why the voice sounded familiar. I don't know why Frank Walker doesn't voice uh, Fred in Scoob, but whatever. I know he voices Scooby, I think. But I don't know who voices Scooby. I think it's Frank Walker, but... I think Frank Walker voices uh, Scooby, but I'm not sure. But, um, yep, Frank Walker voices Scooby, it says it on here. But I tried to figure out why the Blue Falcon voice was familiar, because it sounded either like uh, the guy that plays, I don't remember his name, I think it's, uh, um, I don't remember the actor's name, I think it's Jonathan Groff, he plays um, Kristoff in Frozen and Frozen 2, so I, it sounded like him, so I thought it was him. But then I looked it up, and I was like, Oh, really? It's Mark Wahlberg? I didn't know he voiced the Blue Falcon in Scoob. So, 
I'm trying to figure out who in the world plays the, like, who the kid actors are that voice the, uh, kid, the gang as kids. So, um, I think Frank Walker voices Scooby, but, um, I could be wrong about that, but I, I hate that he doesn't voice Fred. Why is he not voicing Fred anymore? It's kind of like, it's kind of like I'm used to Cullen voicing, it's kind of like how I'm used to Peter Cullen voicing my favorite Transformer, which everybody knows is, which all you guys know is Prime. But now that he's not voicing him in the new in the new series, I'm like, why is he not voicing him anymore? I guess he's retiring or something. I don't know. But I really, if they ever make, I know that they were gonna make. I think they were gonna make a um, a movie about Prime, but I think it got like uh, uh, like a you know how Bumblebee got a, the like the Bumblebee movie from Transformers. I think they were gonna make one about Prime, but I think it got canceled for some reason. But. If they had made it, I, I would have watched it. Like, if they had, if, I would have watched that if they had made it, because I wanted to see how, like, like, how he got his name and stuff. Um, but if they ever make another, I think they're making another one in 2021. But if they ever make another Transformer movie, Colin has to voice Prime. Otherwise, I'm not watching it. Um, anyway, the, uh, the other, the last stuff, well, the last things I got that are here at my house are three of the uh, Scooby-Doo compilation ones. I got Safari Creatures, which I believe I bought two of them with my own money. Um, I got Safari Creatures, Sea Monsters. Actually, I bought all three of these with my own money, but my mama doesn't pay attention to what I buy, so she bought me the same ones, so I left those at her house. But I got Sea Monsters, Safari Creatures, and which one was this? Snow Creatures. And I don't have, I don't know where you can find all the other compilation ones, but I will say that, uh, these two, I watch all the time, because these have all, these, these have, these both have three episodes of my favorite Scooby-Doo show, What's New Scooby-Doo. This one does, it has, well, this one has two, it has two from, this is like a holiday, wintry type one, and this has, um, a few episodes from What's New Scooby-Doo, and an episode from... Scooby-Doo, where are you? I mainly got it just for what's new Scooby-Doo because I love that show. Alright, guys, so that's everything I got for my birthday that's here. Um, oh, and before I continue, before I uh, make, well, before I upload this, I wanted to ask, I'm I'm working on my uh, BTR Transform crossover, and, I, and when I'm done with it, which I'm almost done with it, I'm on, like, it's based on the uh, three films, on the first three films, so I'm almost done with it because I'm on the, uh, I just got I just got done writing the uh, the final the final battle with the final battle in Revenge of the Fallen, so I kind of want to read uh, my uh, BTR Transformer crossover, which has a bunch of made up characters, especially uh, especially a, a female Transformer, which is a um, which is the in the in the in BTT, which is Big Time Transformers. It's the she's the youngest in the group, so every so Prime and B call her kid. But I kind of want to read that to you guys, but I don't know if you guys would accept that. So let me know in the comments if you guys would want to see that. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video, and I'll see you guys uh, when I do the Scooby-Doo DVD collection.